Many people who struggle with depression, medication just doesn't work. But a new treatment now offered in Pittsburgh is helping people improve. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simbra. After three concussions and the death of his mother, Peter Bergman went somewhere he didn't want to be. A path of the, down that depression and anxiety hole. Depression is more than just sadness. Low mood, sleep disturbance, uh, lack of energy levels, um, lack of concentration, and uh, feelings of you know guilt, poor self-worth, and thoughts of uh, hopelessness and life not worth living. While Peter wasn't suicidal, his symptoms of depression affected his day-to-day -day function. I wasn't really able to concentrate on schoolwork or anything. Uh, most of the days I kind of just felt empty, um, didn't really care about what happened to me. I uh, started missing a lot of classes. He tried several different antidepressants, which either didn't work or increased his anxiety. It was at the point where I just was like, I guess this is it. Like, I, nothing's really working. I guess I'm going to have to just deal with it. Unfortunately, a third of patients who come to us for treatment of depression don't respond to these medications. Shock therapy is an effective option. But it requires anesthesia and monitoring, which isn't always ideal. That's one of the steps that we take as a last resort. So a psychiatrist family friend of Peter's suggested transcranial magnetic stimulation as a new treatment. It almost looked like a, um, a hair dryer from like a salon or almost like a Magneto's uh, little helmet from the X-Men films. The technique was pioneered in 1985 and FDA approved for major depression in 2008. But doctors in Pittsburgh have just started offering it. It's for people who have tried four medications without success. At that point, I was like, I might as well. As Peter describes it, the psychiatrist likened it to a physical therapy stim pack. Um, it was going to kind of work out the areas of the brain that kind of um, deal with the mood uh, disorders. A helmet goes on the patient's head with loud clicking when the magnet is on. The coiled magnets rapidly change their magnetic field. That induces a small current in the front part of the left brain. The doctors first have to find their landmarks, so they begin by stimulating here, where the magnet creates a current strong enough to make the thumb move. Then they go six centimeters forward, and this area is the target to treat depression. They're perfectly awake. There's no anesthesia, no sedation to you. Okay. And uh, they can sit in the chair with the coil on, and they can read their book or you know, look at their phone, and uh, the treatment will go on for 20 minutes. Typically, the treatments are every day for 36 days, with most patients seeing changes. Their facial expression can change. They can look less depressed, but they may not see the actual change uh, for up to a couple of weeks. Seven out of ten people would have at least some response. Peter had his treatment a year ago in Charleston, West Virginia. Because of his work schedule, he went only on weekends for several weeks in a row. He noticed his symptoms of depression gradually improved. Eventually I could kind of see as like, oh wow, something's like, it was like a veil lifted up in front of me in a way. Best response would be uh, like complete remission of depression and we do see that one in three people would have uh, remission from depression and two in three people would have 50 percent reduction in symptom you know severity. Before I would just stay in bed most of the day, sleep wasn't very active by any means, um, but now get up early, go running. I'm Dr. Maria Sumbra, KDKA News. Now one thing to note about this treatment, you can't have it if you have seizures or you have any metal in your head or neck.